By 1724, the slave population of Louisiana had grown so numerous that white leaders were concerned about controlling them. Governor Bienville had just the solution. Today we're going to look at slavery, immigration, farming, and the famous Code of 1724. Once France established Louisiana as its territory, it needed men to work the land. Initially, prisoners were shipped over for this purpose, but they were ill-equipped for the harsh climate and they died. The government kidnapped homeless men and sent them over too, with similar results. People would be sleeping under a bridge and soldiers would come and soon they would be in chains, headed to work in the field of Louisiana. France even resorted to paying people willing to travel to Louisiana, but very few people accepted the offer. The arrival of the first slave ships in 1719 solved the labor problem. While the slaves at first had difficulty adjusting to working in harsh conditions, they eventually acclimated or got used to the environment, the way the land and weather were. They cleared most of the land in the Mississippi Valley and made it livable. They worked fields, built houses, and learned trades. The slave population soon grew to a point where they outnumbered the white people, and Governor Bienville became concerned about controlling the black people. The Code Noir of 1724 was his solution. The Code addressed the minimum standards by which owners should treat and care for their slaves. It also insisted that slaves should be baptized and trained as Roman Catholics, and that young slave families should not be separated. The Code even provided a method of emancipation for the slaves. It showed them how they could gain their freedom. While the Code did specify that slave owners must properly care for their slaves, it also greatly restricted slave activities. Slaves were forbidden from owning weapons, assembling in groups, or selling certain items such as sugar. White slaves were forbidden from marrying black slaves. Anyone who defied these laws was severely punished, often with a harsh beating. While many slave owners did not strictly follow these laws, they set a standard for future slave laws and for the legal separation of the races. The arrival of what in 1719 solved Louisiana's problematic labor shortage? A. Slave ships. B. Settlers and immigrants from abroad. C. New farming machinery. D. Native American workers. The arrival of what in 1719 solved Louisiana's problematic labor shortage? A. Slave ships. B. Settlers and immigrants from abroad. C. New farming machinery. D. Native American workers. And the answer. A. Slave ships. All of the following are provisions of Governor Bienville's Code Noir except A. Slaves had to be baptized and raised as Roman Catholics. B. Young slave families could not be separated. C. Slaves could not own weapons or assemble in groups. D. Slaves could be treated in any manner so long as they obeyed their owners. All of the following are provisions of Governor Bienville's Code Noir except A. Slaves had to be baptized and raised as Roman Catholics. B. Young slave families could not be separated. C. Slaves could not own weapons or assemble in groups. D. Slaves could be treated in any manner so long as they obeyed their owners. And the answer? D. The Code Noir was established in what year? A. 1719. B. 1724. C. 1756. D. 1802. The Code Noir was established in what year? A. 1719. B. 1724. C. 1756. D. 1802. And the answer? B.
Why did Governor Bienville originally introduce the Code Noir? A. To eliminate slavery. B. To give slave owners more power. C. To control a rapidly growing slave population. And D. To win the governorship. Why did Governor Bienville originally introduce the Code Noir? A. To eliminate slavery. B. To give slave owners more power. C. To control a rapidly growing slave population. And D. To win the governorship. The answer? C. Before slavery became common in Louisiana, how did France find men to work the land? A. Prisoners and the homeless were shipped from France. B. Local settlers were forced into farming. C. Native Americans made significant labor contributions. D. All of the above. Before slavery became common in Louisiana, how did France find men to work the land? A. Prisoners and the homeless were shipped from France. B. Local settlers were forced into farming. C. Native Americans made significant labor contributions. D. All of the above. And the answer? Prisoners and the homeless were shipped from France. At the University of Richmond, I'm Dan Roberts.